games uh, here for this set. I'm not sure who will win this set because I've never seen either of these players play very much except for Gelato. I've never um, played with Gelato and I don't know Wag at all, so yeah, this will be a little treat. I've seen Gelato play in crew battles, but besides that, I haven't seen him play very much. Um, uh, give me a split second. Sure, awesome. Okay, we're seeing Gelato here. Just take a lot of uh, damage here off this combo, or doing a lot of damage here off this combo, excuse me. Uh, getting a lot there as well with the two up tilts. Actually, if you do two up tilts though, the up, the nair follow after it isn't true. Um, but still a good try there, because against Samus they are more floaty, so it would be a little bit easier than someone who's a little bit um, harder to combo. We are just seeing Gelato who can just play a really solid neutral as well. Uh, just able to pick up these just like stray hits. Not necessarily getting any like huge combos or confirms, but able to like get the hits in and able to get that kill there. Um, I don't think he's playing bad at all. Yeah, there's two up tilts there into the nair, into the dash attack. Wow, there's that big combo that I talked about. Uh, is Zelda, she doesn't really have a ton of just like huge super long combos like someone like Pyramithra might have, um, but Gelato's making her definitely look like she does. Able to get 40% off of one interaction, that was insane for a character her speed. Really good teleport there, just kind of abusing that Wi-Fi, like, you won't react to this. Um, really nice down smash from Phantom there to ledge trap, and I don't think the Samus can come back from this. Oh, maybe? Yeah, they had the jump. Uh, that Phantom there, covering the jump there with the up air. The Phantom just able to scoop away Samus even on the retreat. No, yeah, I... I want to say that Wag still can come back from this, but just like how the game's been playing out, like, uh, they barely even landed any hits on Gelato, that second stock there. Could be able to take that stock there with the forward air. Really good chase off the stage. Um, but Gelato just able to reset neutral, which is where we've seen him play so well with that dash attack. Um, and these Naru loves coming out. Uh, that moves really solid too. Alright, we're gonna see the near come out. is an interesting first stage. Yeah, I feel like both of these characters really like this stage, but I think the Zelda likes it a lot more than the Samus does. So like, this is my, if not... It's like in my top three favorite stages for Zelda, if not my favorite stage for Zelda. Agree, she's just so, I... so strong here. Yeah, the Phantom covering like over half the stage is just so... Yeah, it's insane. And then you can't land up here either. Which Samus isn't really a character where you want to land on Zelda, but there's not really much else you can do. It would appear that up be there. That was really strong. Um, I feel like parrying the uppies, which things like that, will lead you a long way, but uh, just getting the sweet spot in the back air there, just gonna take the set. What do you think about this matchup? I feel like, realistically, it's probably Samus' favor, but I feel like, or even, but I feel like the Samus, you need to have experience more mm -hmm. so I agree. Pretty sure. Zelda's um, strengths are very apparent. Kind of, you have to dig a little deeper to get them. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. I... Here's my thing with Samus, is I think they scrap a lot better than Zelda does, right? But in that set, we saw Gelato winning like all the close range engagements. So... Or just in that game, not that set. But I don't know what that means, since it means like... Like... Gelato is winning at the zoning game and at like the like close quarters game, which is something that Samus should be winning and definitely one of those depending on how the Samus plays. So, I wonder if we'll see this game. I assume we're seeing a stage change. I wonder if Samus chooses just um, a little bit longer of a stage, just to kind of not have to engage as much, because we did see them get kind of pinned down by that Phantom a lot. We are going to be seeing PS2, which is a bit longer of a stage. Yeah, I think it's a good pick. Do you consider PS2 a long stage? Yeah. Okay. I know some people, they're like, it's really not that long, and it's like almost as long as Kalos. Like, it's pretty long. Okay, we're gonna be seeing Gelato just getting those opening hits here. Not really leading into any like super big combos or anything like that, but just getting some consistent damage, which is what matters. I feel like in a matchup like this, you just kinda have to nickel and dime, you know, if you're Zelda. Gelato is like, okay, you're, I know I'm gonna get in, and then you're gonna do this, so we'll punish with this, and then it's a very hefty punish. Oh man, that upbeat. 
I will say one thing that I have noticed is Gelato will like throw out the Phantom, right? And then cover what they think you'll do next. So like they'll do Phantom and then like put their up air like above the Phantom. So if you try to get above the Phantom to dodge it, you get like hit by the up air and then get killed. Things like that. Um, a lot of the lower levels of this will make um, person feel like and look like a Zone mm -hmm. But I feel like the one is playing in a way you're just getting trapped instead of Bond. Yeah. Very, he's playing, they're playing in a very like, you're getting more. I even feel like you don't really need to play Zelda like a Zoner since she only does really have that one good projectile being Phantom. I uh, usually play her more like, um, I'm going to trap you, I'm going to cover where you're going to go. Um, because of Phantom, and make Phantom like force the opponent into moving into your next hit, like an up air, like a bear. Like Pac-Man, Snake Mask. Yeah, I agree. Um, but I feel like a lot of people uh, like choose to just play her like a simple zoner, and instead Gelato is using her. So in my opinion, like the focus of the Phantom, where it's like, I'm going to put Phantom here, so now you have to move around it, and I'm going to kill you for moving around it. A really nice down up there to lift a uh, wag off the ledge. Um, as I said last game, I don't think it's over, but I don't think that Wag can really do a lot here unless something big changes. What are you going to say, though? The thing I think is uh, cool, they're using like the jab buff a lot. Like, they're hitting those jab one combos that she has now, and I think it's mm -hmm. cool. No, those are really neat. Um, I really like characters that have like more unique like combo routes like that, where it's like use like the first hit of a multi-hit. Oh my goodness! That up be almost confirming into the Phantom and able to get that down smash, but it's just not very strong. Um, looking for a grab there, Sam is oh, able to jab out of it. And is that the game? Yeah. Man, no kill screen, that was kind of surprising. Um, it looks like Gelato was just so strong. The threes, like, they knew how to throw out their tools to force an option, and then they knew how to jump. 